Hello everyone. For the last two live shows, we've already seen uh, how is the 25 TG Power Tools uh, platform. We have already uh, power shared like uh, 100 plus uh, tools. For today, we will show you um, how to select the right tools for the right power tools. This will make your work more efficient. Okay, so my name is Ryan and this is Jeffrey. I'm Jeffrey. Okay, so today, as we can see, and I will board here, shaft all the uh, accessories here, all the accessories. So today, we are going to use the drills for the first part. As we can see, these two power tools. So I would like to zoom in the camera to check these power tools. For this one, I would like Jeffrey to introduce you what is the difference for these two cordless drills. Okay, so these two drills from the appearance same, but uh, you can see these two all have the screw and the training function, and uh, here's screw and the training function. This one also have screw and the training function, but the difference is this one have impact function. You can see here it's marked uh, on the surface. This is these two drills different. Okay, as this one has the impact function, so we will start from the impact function first. Okay? Yes. So uh, these are the two college strips. As we can see, this uh, we have one package here. This is our standard package for this uh, impact with impact function drills. And this is uh, uh, for this 2.0, the 20 volt battery. This is the accessory, and this one is with the battery also, as you can see. And this is the charger, this is the uh, accessories kit. And also here, this is the hanger. We can fix it here, which is very uh, easy for you to hang on your um, belt. Those are the for free, and also accessories with three drill pieces. This is the manual. So this is the kit. And we will take this out to today's first part. As we can see, we have two impact function drills. Uh, those two with impact function, and this one is without impact function. So we, as we can see, we have three drill bits. We will start from this first. Um, there are number one, number two, number three. I would like to invite all the uh, visitors to guess which one is for um, drilling, with, uh, drilling the wood, which one is for metal, and which one is for the concrete. So the number one, number two, number three. Okay, how to assemble the drill bits? to this uh, uh, college drill, how to assemble it. Okay, please. As we can see, uh, this uh, when you assemble this one, first you need to wear the gloves, and then second one, you need to make sure this one is rolling to tighten the drill bit with the power tools. We, okay, we are here. The, we can hear the sound. This. This is symbolized with this one, you fix it very well. Okay, if you cannot hear for the first one, we will stop the second one for you to check how to assemble this one. Okay, now we are screwing this with this. I, I would prefer you can uh, hear this already, so we will try again. Okay, now let's come to the third one. So we will fix all the three drill bits together and show you how to fit, uh, assemble this one. As now you can hear. Okay, so this is the sound that we can hear when we assemble this one. In this case, this one is uh, stable, very strong. So uh, for now, we would like to uh, select two of these three drill bits. As we can see, this is the one in the middle. It has almost a similar with the, with this one. So this will be looks similar. So for our test, we'll start from these two first. So which one you want to select first? Okay, uh, the second one. Okay, Jeffrey selected this one as how to use this drill bit. So first, we should to select the function to the jury function. Here, the middle function. Okay, jury. And then we can put this 
Because this, we can see this two bit have a point, so we can locate the position with this point, and then. For the purpose, you need to locate the uh, location, and then you start the drilling. So this is the one very sharp and very quick. Maybe we can uh, start again. We can try it again. Okay. Try it to show you how to make the drill. Locate the point, the position first, and then start drilling. Okay, as we can see, the drill bits come out very easily, and uh, this one. What is the main function for this drill bit, Jeffrey? This is a wood drilling uh, during, during bit. So we can see this. From the point, it have a sharp point. This help us to locate the position stable. And then for this groove, you can see it can uh, help for, for the clean wood drilling. Okay. Okay, that means when we select the drill bits for this college drill, we can see the very sharp head. This one is um, mainly for locate the location where you want to make the drill. In this case, it will be very helpful and more efficiency. Okay, so now we'll come to the second one. This one, as uh, from what I see, it looks like almost similar one, but maybe some difference with the colors. So what is the function for this one? A little bit light. This is for metal, metal drilling, but we can try to drill on the wood first. Okay, and uh, okay. Same, same, we can select the function to the drilling. And okay, now we can start the drilling with this uh, uh, metal bit. Actually, okay, I would like to let you see there are some of the woods here. It's still here with the drill bit. So the difference with this one is this drill bit is not easy to lose the bits of the wood. So it's uh, mainly this one is for the uh, drill bit. So as we can see here now, there are some drill. We would like to try again to let you see more wood bits. And also it's not efficiency as, as this one also. As you can see, so this, the wood bits will stand here together with this drill bit. So this is not the right one for the wood, but you can use it for use it for drilling the wood when you're making the drilling holes for this wood material. Actually, this one is right for the metals. For the next, I would like to show you how to drill this one with the uh, metals. First, I need to uh, wear the glass, wear the glass and the gloves for protections. So before we drill these uh, metals, I will select the measuring cap to measure to measure the thickness of this uh, metal. So we need to reset this to be zero as we can zoom in the camera. Okay, we can see now it's zero, and then. Okay, now we can read this uh, with the... Nearly five. This is a 5.4.5 for the thickness for this uh, plate. So now we are going to... So now this one is a 4.54 thickness with this uh, metal blade. And now I will show you how to use this drill bit to make the hole as we see here we already tried sometimes before so we will treat this uh, 4.54 4 thickness uh, metal Okay, as, you, as we can see, this uh, takes uh, around 30 to like 30 seconds to make the drill of this hose. 
and uh, this drill bit is suitable for the metals. I would like to give it a try again to show you. Uh, this one is very capability to uh, make the drill for this uh, plate. So I would like to invite Jeffrey to tell us the details of this drill bit. So this drill bit is uh, eight diameter is eight millimeter. So it's a big drill bit for the metal drilling. And uh, for normal use, we chose the three or four millimeter diameter for this metal drilling. So this is a big one. Okay, name is today we select the eight millimeter, right? Yes, yes. So the normally we use a three or four a millimeter. So I will give it a try it again. Beep, beep. As we can see, uh, thickness is very easy to uh, make the drilling holes. It's a 4.54 thickness uh, metal plate. So, this is a very strong and a very uh, efficient work when you choose this uh, metal bead to drill this metal. It's not when you are uh, drilling this wood, it's, it, it is able to drill, but we would like to let you uh, use the right uh, drill bead to check this. Actually, for this toilet, this uh, special for metal, you can see when we turn all the wood, you can see the surface for this metal toilet, it turning to the surface is rough, not so clean than the wood toilet. So, yes, we can see here. This for wood toilet and this metal toilet. So, for metal toilet, it can turn on the wood, but the surface is not good. Okay. Okay. Now, the remaining one is this one, but uh, I don't know this ruby is in using which material. I would like to introduce. Uh, let Jeffrey to introduce this one and the right answer for this one. Okay. So the last one. This is uh, suitable for uh, concrete measuring like this, and uh, uh, because the head is different with other two jewelry. So we can use this drilling on the wood to check, to try if this one is can drill on the wood. Okay, now we'll give it a try to drill this wood. Okay, okay as we can see, this is uh, not so efficient. With the first, with the first one, as we can see, it's very fast when we're using the wooden drill bits to drill the wood. So this is the last one we used just now. We can see this head is different. It's different. This one is alloy with uh, yes. different material with this uh, uh, rod. So that the impact functions, yes, right. and then you can drill more here inside the block or something. So yes. what is the material? Is it going to use? Oh, this. Uh, I see just now this is suitable for measuring concrete like this and you can see the heat. This is custom uh, by tipped. So this material is suitable for concrete. Okay, and uh, this job it is used with the impact function. So it needs a high frequency impact. So we should keep the heat stronger. Yes, so now I would like to you have Jeffrey again to give it a try. Let's see the capability with this drill bit. Okay, okay. For first uh, we will start with the block first. Okay, first we need to select the function to the impact here, like a hammer icon. Okay. okay. Okay, this con I would like to introduce you something more about this uh, concrete. This one is the light concrete. As we can see, uh, this is also very popular when we are making the uh, buildings, like construction, the hotels, or the offices. We will also use this light concrete to make the uh, participation. 
And also now for the second uh, material, we like to test. If this one is a block. This is a normal block when we are building the uh, buildings. Also, so now we would like to uh, try this block. See how's the capability with this bit. Now we can see this uh, black one is actually this material is deep inside this block as you can see here also it's the black one so this already drilled inside and uh, okay as we can see already drilled inside maybe we can give it a try it again so we will make some cleaning with this drill bit now we'll give it a try again we'll try it again So now we can see this already get through now this. Okay, as we can see the light concrete in the back of this uh, red brick is already getting through. So the thickness, now I would like to measure the thickness with this brick also. First, we need to reset this to be zero, and then we measure. This one is a 1449 thickness. So this is the thickness with this. As we can read, this is a 45.09. So this is the thickness with this red brick. So now we have this uh, three, uh, three uh, drill bits as we can show you just now. Actually, this three bit is not only simple for this one. We also have some other drill bits as we can see here. And also, this is the wooden uh, uh, drill bit for the first shoe and the second shoe. We already have some competition and some drilling work. And uh, this also drill bit. This is wood flat drill bit for drilling on the wood and uh, big size holes. Use this one, and uh, this also is the drill bit. You can see this is the set, and this is for wood, for concrete, for mat. Okay, and uh, we can see this three drill bit. So first is for wood, second is for metal, and the third is for concrete. We can see we can to choose the right one for our drilling work. Okay, so say as what Jeffrey said. So these three drill bits they have their own functions. When you have your own purpose for doing your purpose of the work, you need to select the right one as this one for the right material. This one will double the efficiency of your work.
So later we will show you what other uh, accessories can be used with this uh, poly screw. This one is to help with the star, as we can see here. This is the star. They are the star, star also. This one is with the longer rod. When you are connecting with the so when we're losing this one, and then this will be just come out. So when you assemble this one, always almost the same way when you assemble the two bits. So when you make it tight and you hear the sound. So this is very tight. When you're making the drilling work, we use this one. So in this case, this one, when you are having some uh, decoration work of your house or some somehow, it's very efficient when you're using this one. Yes. If if this uh, droopy one head is not working or it's uh, smooth and not make your work more efficient, you can choose another side and also put inside. So this two head it will be very easy to efficient your work. So now we will select some uh, some nails. These nails is around of, um, three centimeter length. So we will try to make the, some kind of the drilling of this wood also. We will see how we can use this. Okay, so so when we drilling all, uh, for this screw, we need to select the function to the drilling function. And also we can see this top seat from one to 23. This is, uh, we adjust the torque. So when we screw a big size or small size screws, we need to adjust this torque to uh, help us to do the right work. So now we will show you how to make this work. This is just for example. This one is also almost similar with the, uh, the beat. You need to. Uh, this this shows me uh, the torque is big, is strong, so we need to uh, adjust to the smaller. Okay, that means the right size of the nails with the right size of the torque, right? Yes. So the torque with with the nails must be matched. You need to know how uh, this eleven torque, and this one is. Uh, uh, nails with this equals with this uh, in that case it won't happen like this or like this it's perfect your work first you will paint and then start the drip okay this is uh, almost the perfect on the surface we can see this is not much uh, scratch on here so now we can adjust this one and use another head okay this is for touching the screws oh. Also, we can loosen the screws with this function adjust. Reverse. This is for reverse. Okay, wow, this one has another function. We can lose the nails. Maybe we can give it a try again to show this one is also able to loose and tighten the nails when making the work. Okay, now we will lose this. Uh, bit and change the head so this is the same one the same star okay this is the uh, we use we change another head of this drill bit and we give it a try Maybe we lose it. We, with this, we have the reverse. We have the, this one is reverse function. Just press. And also the, the other side, when you press here, this is the tightening. And this one is reverse. So we can put, put it here, reverse. Very easy work. So this. This is the drill bit with the two head stuff. This is for this time. 
Okay, now we would like uh, to come to the second round with this. In this, as we can see, we have one connecting rod with, we have one connecting rod here. This is, okay, so this is the connecting rod with several bits we can select. As we can see, we have a star, flat, star, this is a face, Tox, Tox, Tox screwdriver bit, and uh, uh, this is nearly five, uh, 50 pieces. Okay, we have like uh, 50 pieces of the Drubin's hat you can connect with this rod. So this this side, we are connecting here, same with this uh, flat uh, drill bit, and with this small hat, I would like Jeffrey to show you how to connect this one. We can take it out. This one is with the magnet, that's why it's a little bit very uh, hard when you're taking it out. Let's press it here. Take it out. So this one is with magnet. So now we will reset this. So this is the same. Also, we need to uh, do this work. We can tighten. We can tighten this one. And also this, we can lose it. So this is very uh, convenient. When you have some other needs, we have several bits for you to select. And the size and the different shape of the head, it's all available here. So now this is all about how we can use with this uh, with this uh, coded strills as we can see here. So all of this can be uh, used for this uh, uh, tool called this drill. This is uh, this is also the kit we selected here, and also we have like uh, this one right uh, from here. Different this package. is a different package kit. We have five pieces and. Uh, uh, 10 pieces like uh, this uh, for the concrete for the for the con as we can see here this is masonry metal and wood so this is for different functions there are several bits you can select and choose for your right work and also this as we can see just now this all the bits can be uh, used for this uh, call this screw so this call this screw have several functions which you, you select for your right purpose and match the perfect uh, materials. Okay, this is the first part. We will introduce, we will introduce this um, call this rules with the uh, when you with impact function and when you without impact function. How's the capability of these uh, two drills? So for the second part, we will show you about the uh, uh, angle grinders. With, and now we will remove the table and show you another one. As we can see, we have uh, two uh, angle grinders, and uh, so Jeffrey, which one you want to select? This one. Okay. okay. What is the size for that one? So th actually, this two uh, angle grinder from the appearance is same, but the size is different. So you can see this. This is four inch, one hundred millimeter size. Okay, that means the spindle diameter is 100, right? 100 mm. No, no, no. The spindle diameter is M10. It means it's 16 millimeter. Okay, so this is a 16 yes, yes. with M10 spindle. spindle. So what is the size for uh, the abrasive disc? So this is for a 4-inch disc 
100 millimeter disc. Okay, what about this one? And this one we can see the spindle size. This is M14. The size is 22.2 millimeter. So this is suitable for uh, 115 millimeter. Okay, so as we introduce how is the size for this machine and how, uh, so which one disc is match for each machine? Maybe we start from this. So which uh, disc we should select? Okay, we can see here, here is the disc, abrasive cutting disc for here. This is 115 millimeter, suitable for this four and a half inch angle grinder. And uh, this is four inch, 100 millimeter uh, cutting disc. And this is suitable for this four inch angle grinder. So I see this one is a little bit different. Maybe this one is uh, more thickness. And also this one is uh, thin. So what is the functions for each? Okay, this one, actually this one is flap. Flap disc, this is suitable for grinding. Suitable for grinding. And uh, this one we call this cutting disc. This is suitable for metal cutting. And uh, for this, we can see the thickness. This three, the thickness is different. You can see uh, the first one is 1.2 millimeter thickness, and the second one is 3.3 millimeter, and the third one is 6 millimeter. Actually, for this, uh, 1.2 and 3 is suitable for cutting, and the 6 millimeter is suitable for grinding. So it's a different use. Okay, that means the thickness for this uh, disc can tell us for which function, right? Yes. Okay, so when you select this, don't forget to choose the right thickness. So, which one we we'll, we'll want to start first to make a test at this the capability of this angle grinder? So we can cut in the steel bar with this this machine and the force to check. Okay, so now we will uh, choose this one to cut the uh, reinforcement. As we can see, the steel bar is here. We use the bench. We use the bench vise, and for now, uh, Jeffrey will assemble this one. Besides, I will show you this one, the, the steel bar already. Okay. So now, this uh, reinforcement is already uh, assembled with the bench vise, as we put it before. This one needs to be tied with G-clap here. So now, Jeffrey is working on this uh, reset assembly, the disc for this angle grinder. Okay, for this end grinder, when we install the disc, we should put the spindle lock first, and then we can loosen this flag. Okay, so press the lock first, and then just loose the lock. And we chose the 1.2 millimeter. Okay. okay, so this is a 1.2 and a 115 size disc. Okay, we can see because we can see the size, the whole size is 22.2. .2. When we choose the smaller one, this is uh, the spindle size is 16. It can't lock stable. So this is the choice. We should choose this one for the size is 22.2. .2. Okay, so four and a half inch angle grinder should match with the 115 mm. So now uh, we place this abrasive disc here and then we put the lock. And also we need the spanner to tighten this, make sure this is very safety. And then don't forget to press the lock here. And use the spanner to lock to ensure it's stable because angle grinder is uh, dangerous Tools. So yes, we need it's very dangerous. Okay. And then when you fix this one, you can spin this one and make sure this one is very stable. 
So now we will start the cutting the breast deep. And uh, this switch? This we should push first and then. This one is already finished. Okay. As we can see, this one is uh, cutting like uh, 10 seconds. Around 10 seconds, we just cut this uh, uh, reinforcement. But we'll try it again. Okay, so now we'll come to that measuring of this one. We will let you know the... Okay. We reset with the zero. As we can read, it's 10.62. Uh, 10.56, this is the diameter with this uh, reinforcement. So this is a cutting with this uh, 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 reinforcement as a steel bus, and this is the cutting abilities with this one. So, and so now we will select another one with the grindings. This one, right? Yeah. This one is for grinding. So is there any other purpose or any other functions when we're using this one? This this grinding, this flap disc, this is for wood grinding and the metal grinding. So it can uh, grind into materials. So now we will assemble this one, and we will try the two functions with this. This one is suitable for the metal and the wood also. So we will just start this and make sure we review how to assemble this one. Grinding with the metal piece, metal plate first. So this is the as we read the thickness with the plate is four point five four thickness. So now we use this one to grind the surface of this. So the handle of this handle is not. Uh, Right function relaxing. Actually, for this uh, grinding, for the metal, for this, uh, we use the wire to grind. Actually, for this, when we're grinding, we should put it uh, with like uh, nearly uh, 15 or 13 angle, angle, degree angle. So that means the disc and the plate surface, it should be like uh, some angles like this, right? Yes. And uh, so when we use the thickness for the cutting disc to grinding, it's very dangerous because the disc is, thickness is a little. And uh, when we to press. press, it may be 
to broken or damaged, so it's very dangerous. So we should use choose the right for grinding disk to, to do some grinding work. Yes, as we can see here, this is very uh, lightning compared with this side also. So this is the right function with this. And also as we uh, say before, this uh, brush is also suitable for the wood surface. So now we will try the wood surface also. As we can see, this is the wood we prepared. Now we finish this, and uh, as we can see, the different color. This one also after the grinding surface. This is the previous original surface. So this is uh, very suitable when you're grinding the wooden surface or some other uh, furniture or some other original wood. We make the surface very smooth, as we can touch like this. So this is the function for this compressive disc. So for the next, we will, we will select some uh, other disc as for the grindings also. So for this one, so this is the uh, this is the power. It's also for the grinding. When you're making the grinding, this is uh, so this is also for grinding. So what is the with this aggressive uh, disc? Actually, for this flap. For this because it has uh, many kinds so this one is suitable for the post grinding and this you can see the surface compared with this one this two kind this is different this one is suitable for uh, rough surface and uh, for rough uh, grinding and this is for the smooth for the sec uh, for the second work this is the first work so this for this the surface will be more smooth than this one. Okay, so now we will show you the, how to uh, match this and uh, in which uh, segment sense we are going to use with this um, fire brush. When we, when we change the disc, we should to, uh, take remove the battery because the angle grinder is a uh, dangerous tool, so we need to pair this. So this one is our 20 voltage with the battery. When you're using the wire angle grinder, so please don't forget to remove or switch off the socket to make sure this one is not connecting with the power. To make sure this one is very safety, so much can see. So this one, so this one is a 115 watt. That's why we use this angle window to connect with this uh, wire flash. Here we can see the spindle directly. This is M10 spindle. So the size is for suitable for 16 millimeter. And uh, this is M14 spindle. This is suitable for the 115 millimeter disc and uh, the diameter is the whole diameter is 22.2 millimeter. Match this one. This one we just roll in. And don't forget the spindle lock also. Okay. So, so today we prepared the scaffolding. As we can see, it's get already some the surface of the rust already here. This scaffolding we make it several days ago to make sure this one is surface is uh, get rust. So today we will use that wire brush 
to smooth this surface and how is the efficient work with these uh, accessories we will take it out. Be careful because for this So just now Jeffrey just uh, said for this one when it's spinning out this one will come out a little bit so very very dangerous with this one so when you're operating this be careful So now it's already uh, after the finish the, the uh, grinding. As we can see, this one is very shiny compared with this side. You can see the difference. So this one is uh, very suitable when you have some pipes or reinforcement. You have a surface with get getting rust. It's very suitable to remove this one with the rust. So this is the right one for. And when we are having another disc, so this. So what, what is the difference with this and this? So this one is also very suitable for when you have the metal surface to grinding the surface. But this one will get this, as we can see the thickness with this pipe. Grinding like this, this we will make this one more thinner. So that means it will remove, make, remove some of the iron of the thickness. So this one is not the right one when you are making grinding, but you can use if you are very, efficient or yes. workers you can use this one but be careful this this is the right one for removing the dust this is suitable for rust clean and for this this because the surface is rough and uh, when we grinding for this it will cutting like cutting the material it will losing any material it's the strongness of this pipe will maybe shorten so that means we need to maintain the strongness of this pipe and using this fire brush. And also we have some other disc here, right? So what is I see only some I can see some ring. So those are the those are the four uh, this metal disc compared with the abrasive disc. So the difference is the ring side. So we can see here and here. So this is the main difference with this with this. So Jeffrey, what is the function with this one? This all is suitable for like uh, me uh, measuring concrete uh, cutting. But okay. for this, because we can see this surface, the blade is one, two, three, four, five. It's too many blades. For this, for rough cutting, it, it will cut very fast, but the That's surface true. will be rough. And this is suitable use for uh, dry, dry cutting. This is for dry cutting. And for this, this one. You can see the surface, the blade. This is suitable for like cutting the tire. And this, we, when during cutting, we need to add some water. So this is for weight cutting. And this two or is tube cutting disc. This is uh, the function is between this tube. The surface will be more smooth than this one. This one, the cutting surface will be more smooth than this one, but later less than this. But the cutting efficiency is less than the dry cutting disc, but fast the weight cutting disc. Okay, okay that means from 
this to this, the surface is getting more smooth, right? Yes, yes. Fast so is from the is less faster from here to here. This is the most faster one and most uh, smooth cutting surface. So this ceramic, we were already, as we know, we need to make sure this is needed to wet. So this one we put in water for some time already. So now we reset there and show you the cutting surface. So now with this uh, clamp to tie to set on on the table that's very good. so we will use this uh four and a half inch angle grinder to cut in ceramic this Okay, now the, the ceramic of sorts. This should be still here, so not impact your cutting. Okay, okay so now the this is ceramic tightening on this table. This cutting disc is suitable to the tire. Okay, so this is the tire. Okay, so first we put the spindle lock and then and also with the battery. Okay. okay, now we can see for side is very, this side is very smooth with the cutting. So this side is a little bit, but this is, will be the remaining. So this one, so this abrasive disc with the, this disc is the, with the smooth surface and the fast cutting. So we will, uh, Select another one to show you. This one is not that fast, but it gives a surface of the cut cutting this. Actually, for this, you can see the grid. This is for fast and rough cutting. This is not suitable for this tire. It's suitable for like the measuring the concrete block. Okay, so for the measuring yes. block, I will give it a try for the measuring block. Yes, because when we use this, we start to use the tire, we will damage the surface.
it's a long use for this is to pull for the Okay, as you can see, this already cutting through, as we can see from this angle. It's already cutting through. Uh, for the same cutting like this, you can see here, it's already through. So this this is like the bricks. This type is for the bricks only. So when you're putting the bricks like this or some walls, you select the right disc. Yes, this is fast. Very fast cutting for this. So this is uh, the uh, cutting disc, metal cutting disc, very simple for the uh, brick, maybe the red bricks and other bricks. For the next part, we will use, uh, uh, sorry, so all of those discs. So when you are collecting, the disc, make sure you have right diameter with the four and a half inch or four inch with the right machines. So this one is very soon, very important. And also the and also the thing is, is also another part you are uh, considering to select a uh, disc. The sick one, this is for grinding. And also this one, the six one with the six grinding, but this one with three mm is for cutting. But the difference with uh, with this one point two and three, the main difference is this the using life is longer than this point two mm. Actually, this we can see this is three millimeter, and this is one point two, and this is then this one. So this the, is uh, longer than this, but the impatience and the, the cutting speed, this is higher. Than. And also for this sink 1.2, it cutting it will look less metal. Okay. okay, so this is the, the second part for the angle grain. When you have the selections, make sure you have one with the match with the machines. So the next part we select the hammers, right? Yeah. We will have two hammers and the selections of the beat. And uh, this one, the slide one, is this plus the slot one. And uh, this is come on. So, so is more powerful. Okay, I know this is metal. Uh, it will have no spark and no need carbon brass. And uh, it also can save more uh, more electrical. So, what is the function for this switch? I can see this switch several functions as you can see. This one is only one. Yeah, and this one have like one, two, three, four. Four functions with this. What are they? Okay, the fault like a screw a logo it's for draining. No ham no hammer function. Just draining. And we can see draining and uh, hammer. So it can draining and uh, hammer. And uh, this one hammer. So this for like chisel, like breaker, it it's only Camera, no training. And this one, this is 
input a work function. Okay. This is suitable for just the team. So now, uh, what is the database for that function? And uh, this is SDS chuck. It's still directory. So for this, uh, so for this function, uh, as as we see, if we uh, select the hammer and joining the angle is good. and uh, when we turn the function to this position we can rotate we can adjust the chisel angle so make it touch the surface so when you this head can be the angles like this right yes yes when you hide selections here this yes. one is for changing Yes, when we change the angle to the work service, we can switch it back to the work function. Okay. okay. So this, when you press here and you pull out this drill bit, this hammer, it can feel the chisel. Just can hammer, this is the hammer drill bit. To kit, we have several. Uh, there are several types of these. Yes. Yes. Plus, hammer uh, uh, Main difference with this bit and another. So how we select this one? Because this all can use this job. In. Okay. And the system is SDS plus. So we do this. This all on the concrete. But that system is still the SDS class, it will count to in the hammer. So wrong selection. Yes, so we need to choose SDS hammer. So any just press, you will hear the sound also. Okay. okay. Hammer with the hammer. So you concrete. Okay, this it's a little bit heavy on the on the floor. You can see here. This is the uh, the previous one today. Like the, a little bit the small. We will give it a try. It's drill bit. So what makes this work so efficient? Is it because? Yes, because of the head. This is, uh, it means constant combustion uh, tipped head. This is suitable for the and uh, choose the screw and hammer and the wing and uh, this can uh, job it okay reverse switch will help you keep from where you make the drill and also this one is all the block breaks it's more power Okay, that means there is a big machine, and we we'll choose another. This one is a previous. One. This is because of the uh, impacting. Yes, yes. Impact from this side, getting through with this hole. You can see the uh, black is coming out as a previous. Another one that also because side is the black dot, so it's already getting through. This is very uh, powerful. Uh, it's when you're making this concrete. If this brick is very easy, yes. And also another two bit. You see. We will select another of these. 
we can see uh, this uh, from here we can see the yes this is you can see to work. Because this one is more, this ruby head is previously we just had one. Okay, as we can see, this is already making the trading with. So this is the flat right here. So we can see the star one. Then alloy part is is doubled than this. They place the alloy part times. So this makes the work efficient. Okay. So so today we part of all these drills. We have drill bits. Uh, we try the abrasive disc, we're cutting the scaffolding, cutting uh, the bricks we showed before. We show you the hammer, these two hammers and accessories match. This will double and make more efficient. The three uh, types is what we are showing you today. If you have uh, some other ideas about the tool you want to see. For the next time, we will make a, make a So those are the shows today. Thank you so much. Bye. See you next time. See you next time.